everybody. Welcome to Plastic Profiles. It's January 1st. Yes. Right now. Where you are. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Where we are, it is not yet. But we are super excited about it. Hopefully the world is not in chaos yes. uh, any more than it is here in November. December. We're in December here. December. We can't even get our day straight. It's, uh, it's just oh. flying by. Once you hit 40, it's like, oh. wake me up when I'm 60. So yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that, man, but yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. 40, yeah. Once I hit 40, I was like, oh, crap. I felt it. I felt like it was yeah. like a, yeah. gong. a gong went off and it was like, boom, and, yeah. and my bones hurt. Um, you know, just a lot of things that I didn't expect. <laughs> you, you know those flip page cartoons that brrr, and you see the character? It's that, but you're aging. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so this is an unofficial episode. We're going to do things a little different uh, with our format here. Yeah. Um, I look like I've been partying a little too much. But it's just December, so I oh, yeah. in a good way, baby. But, yeah, yeah. 420, baby. <laughs> no. Um, this is our our year end wrap up. Uh, this is uh, we've been doing it over over a year. No. Yeah, man, it's been not. Long. I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been some time. Um, I think I think the podcast has been going. The uh, audio only has been going for over a year. But as far as plastic profiles, I don't think we're quite there yet. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, uh, we did 18 figures in, in this segment of the year. Um, so next year we're going to do more, obviously, because uh, we'll be around for longer. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have 18 figures to choose from. Uh, Stephen, the writing dad, and I uh, each picked five. Um, and we have a couple honorable mentions. Yeah. Um, now, what this is all about is these are our favorite figures that we looked at this year. Mm -hmm. These are not the winners. There's no spoilers. You can go back and watch our entire catalog. Um, <laughs> you listen, Thursday, you put a pause in this, but only if you're gonna watch the rest of the catalog right now, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. stay here, you can do it later. Um, so these are our favorite figures that we looked at, they may not necessarily have met our, our scrutinization, scrutiny, scrutiny, right. <laughs> scrutiny, right? <laughs> scrutiny, right? I don't I know, know what I'm trying to say. they may not have, but I don't know the right word either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept trying to say the, a different way to say the word, but I kept saying the same word. The same yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, he's just putting. Let's he's not gonna, he's go with this, okay? Agent right. chuckles is drunk again. <laughs> <sighs> uh, so, uh, but what we would normally do here on Plastic Profiles is we would review a classic GI Joe file card. <laughs> That's right. Get ready, and then. We would look at that corresponding classic G.I. Joe figure. Bing! Then we would examine the uh, current classified incarnation of that figure. Bing! <laughs> and determine yeah. which of those two figures, sometimes three figures, if there's a retro figure available, which of those figures is best represented by that file file card. Right. Um, yeah, but that's not what we're doing here today. Hey. <laughs> no, oh, this is just for fun, just so uh give you guys a little peek into our psyches. Yes. Our, what makes us tick? What figures really got our goose? Uh, I don't know how else to, I don't know. Man, I really I got a face made for a beard these days. I need to Yeah, look at that. Oh. I'm training for a particular December type character. Oh. And I have to work on this no. i'm sure to be a helper we'll say that <laughs> and uh, thankfully that's coming up soon on our time not okay. where you're watching now yep, uh yep. and that this will all be trimmed down and not not out there sorry man yeah i feel like a schnauzer <laughs> anyways <laughs> so let's get you going said it, i wouldn't have thought it but now <laughs> yeah. that's all i see like <laughs> That's a heck of a feather duster there. All right, so let's get started. So we'll do honorable mentions. Uh, uh, I didn't even do our introductions. I am Agent Chuckles. This is Stephen, the writing dad. In case you just now just joined us. That's right. 
All right, right. Don't don't worry. Late uh, to a pre-recorded podcast. Already do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Steve the Writing Dad will lead us off. What 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 are your honorable mentions? Well, you can do them both at the same time. All right. My honorable mentions are two of the females that uh, we we did. Oh, I like my first honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Is the Baroness. Okay. Uh, the Joe classified the figure itself. Okay. The the motorcycle figure combo. Uh, when they came with the or, or the right, or did you say retro? I might have misheard. No, no, no. The classified. Okay. So not the one with the there's because there's three Baron I. Uh-huh. There's this the is makeup the motorcycle. Gotcha. Okay. All Who's right. That? Who's next? Okay. The next yeah, one. You did you said you labeled that one perfect. Oh, fantastic. The next one is going to be uh, cover girl, hmm. and I'm trying to. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna guess the classified because the original figure looks like, me. yes, it is the classified. <laughs> classified. So, cover girl is classified. Okay. I really like that one because she reminds me of Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider, you know, oh. all in one. I okay. thought it was a pretty good, you know, um. Uh, figure and I, I like that one a lot you know, i thought it okay. was neat you know she has that very laura croft look to her so i like it i got that i get that i wouldn't have I, you know speaking of things that i wouldn't have gotten unless you said it uh-huh. that's one of them yeah um indiana croft no that's neat. all right so my honorable mentions um would be the classified stalker figure uh he's just He's off the hook. He's unchained. He's he's a madman. He's ready That's to it. take out some cobras. Uh, yeah, he's ready to roll. Um, I I just really I really like that stalker figure. I have two that I know of. Nice. No, I have. <laughs> That's a real possibility as a GI Joe collector these days because you pre-order from all these different places and yeah. you have no idea what's come in and how many and. Um, but I believe I have two, uh, which I don't have two of a lot of, but. I had to buy two stalkers. So, okay. uh, yeah. and then the retro classified Storm Shadow, and that's the one that comes in the classic style packaging. Um, yeah, I just that was the nice. one nice that, uh, I, I can't remember how high he was in the rankings as far as where we picked him, but he's he had the extra throwing star hand and. Um, yeah. He was. He had the different arms and uh, decorations, and yeah. um, so those are my those are my honorable mentions. Um, yeah, I I really like those figures. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. It was hard not to include those in here, but I, these other five that I have, and I think I just couldn't uh, couldn't mix yeah. them. Yeah. So. Oh, this is without doing any further. Which ones you uh? Yeah. You pick. Yeah. 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 I, I want to see how high Snake Eye. Uh, <laughs> this is on your list. Number one, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see the writing dad. Number five, who is your number five? The number five is the uh, oh, classic. See the writing dad. Who is your number five? My number five is the uh, the classified rock and roll. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A, that's a that's a that's a good one. That's a really yeah. good one. That one I uh, just. Right I liked him uh, so much that he, classified rock and roll is also my number five. Oh! <laughs> Where's some patty coat? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Pretty soon you're gonna have a beard like this. Yeah, you know I've tried <laughs> growing it. I've tried growing it. It doesn't work. No, no, no. it just comes in handsome, huh? I hate no. that. <laughs> <laughs> the hair too. It just comes in this way. What can you do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Stephen the Writing Dad. Who is your number four? My my number four is the classified uh, Flint figure. Oh, okay, okay, I, yeah. I, I like just the I Flint is one of my favorite characters. Um, right, but he has to have the beret, you know, that the on. Sure, I don't like him sure. without the beret. Um, right, and I just like it. He's big. He, you know, he he has that tough guy look like that serious demeanor you know right um, so i i that was my number four okay so we we differ here 
Okay. Um, and that's bound okay. It's that's bound okay. to happen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> my number four is the classified snow job. Oh. Yeah. All that really? gear. Yeah. Um, just a sh- just a sharp figure. Just yeah. he's not even really one of my favorite characters. I say, really, he's not one of my favorite characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, he might not even be top 15. Wow. I'm um, counting Joe and Cobra. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he, he, that figure is, is pretty that awesome. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It's dope. That's awesome. I'll never say that again. No, all right. It's so, all right. It's <laughs> a... Who is your number three? All right. My number three. My number three is the classified uh, Major Blood. I knew it was Major Blood. blood. Major Blood. That is Major my blood. number three. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. He's got the, the pistol with the different missiles you can he put just, on. Man, you know, he reminds me of when I look at him, right? So I look at him and I see Kano. And it's because of the, oh, eye, yeah. the yeah. eye cover. But yeah. I love the I love the dog tags that he's wearing around his yep. neck. You yep. know, he has a badass pistol. You know, he, with the helmet, he like he's ready for war, man. I love the yeah. figure. I think the figure is very, very cool, very clean. It's one of those things that you can have like displayed anywhere, and no one is gonna ask a question because yeah, right, no, yeah, they they're just gonna see it like okay, that that looks no. pretty neat. That's know? awesome. I'm glad. Uh, I I would not question why you have a toy in your That's room. True. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they just they really did everything well on that figure from the uh, face yeah, sculpt like to the accessories. The backpack it, holds extra missiles. It's funny that you said that about Snow Job, right? That you know he's not even in your top. All right. Right. He would have scored higher, but my other two are in my top favorite characters. Like, you know, so you see what I'm saying? Like, he's right, not right. even in there. He's not even in my radar. Right. But I like the figure so much that I had to put him, you know, number three. Okay. Very good. Um, so my number three. Is the classified scrap iron really? Oh yeah, yeah. That is an awesome figure with his his big old drone thing. Yeah, and his yeah. his DS that he comes with that he can play games with. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool. It's gonna look cool next to my my big old his tank too. That's gonna be nice. Yes, yeah. you yeah, have him controlling it with his little remote yeah. control thingy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's um, and that's another thing that you know, just it is like Major a- Blood. Scrap Iron never had a face. Well, you could see Major Blood's face, but you couldn't take his helmet off. All right. So they had to do some imagining to what Scrap Iron would look like without that helmet on. Yeah, um, yeah. just like the faux hawk that that Major Blood has, you know. Scrap Iron has a hairstyle and different Absolutely. facial features that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see on Scrap Iron, but it's awesome. That is pretty cool. That is a nice yep. figure. It's a yep. really good figure. Yeah. If it were cheaper, I'd buy two, but I don't know why I would need a second one. <laughs> um, but it's a deluxe figure. So, um, okay. So yeah. we're in the top two each. This is exciting. Yeah. This right, is did you do, Did you pick Snake Eyes for both? About this one, I'm excited about this one right here. Um, <laughs> Which version of Snake Eyes finished ahead of the other version of Snake Eyes? Yeah, both, both of them. You know? <laughs> okay, Steve, in the right I did do that. Or number two. I did not do that. Um, okay, okay. Because, uh, this is one of my just favorite characters. Period. Uh, besides, you know, my guy, uh, Snake Eyes for life. Hashtag Snake Eyes for life. Snake Eyes for life. And uh, so mine is the uh, is the classic retro. Of Destro. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, that's a good one. That, that's, that's a good one. That figure is just so yeah. sleek, man. Yeah. So, you know, it took the original figure, man, and, and kind of just. Yeah. Goose you know, him up a little. Yeah, hey, expounded off of that, man. It is, it's just yeah. sleek, man. I, I just really like that figure, you know. Yeah. That's a sharp one. That, is yeah, a good one. that one's really good. Yeah. I mean, they there's so many, especially in this first year of what we've done. Yeah. There are so many that it's just like, how can they keep hitting home runs? Yeah. Um, and it's then, just and how one can after the other. It's just favorite. like, you know, it's just yeah. you get yeah. them and it's like, oh my God, you know. Yeah. This is my favorite figure. I don't yeah. even like this guy. Yeah. You know, 
but this figure is pretty awesome, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was just looking to see if I had there are there are, have spoiler alert there have been a couple misses for uh, classified figures. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I was looking to see if there was one was lurking one around here. Around, like, yeah, he just made his way into the camera. Yeah, yeah spoiler, he looks like this. Uh, I can't even do his face. <laughs> um okay so classified retro destro yes that's a good one he's also got the the mars uh industries briefcase yeah. instead of the cobra briefcase um so it fits more with him being an arms dealer and not an actual cobra member um but you know how people play with him in different ways you know the cartoons he was mostly cobra um, yeah you yeah you never really in the see in the cartoons itself like he was just a loyal he would always be willing to back away from Cobra Commander. Like he, right. he was always self-serving, right. but he was right. with Cobra. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Like, there was one uh Commander when he messed up. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to do this. Yes, my 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 leader. I am your loyal servant. And then it messes up. Why did you do this, you pocket cock? Uh, you know, or I'm whatever. I don't you. know. <laughs> yeah. uh, God, man, he was funny. All right, so yeah, that was your number two. My number two Ooh. is the classic version one Storm Shadow, Ooh. the original boy. Yeah, Ooh. that figure. That's one that I will pull if my room collecting room was on fire. That's the one I'm looking for, uh, particularly nice. the the white because I actually have several of those. Not, not a flex, but I each one I get I'm like. I can find a whiter one, you yeah. know, and I keep, cause they turn yellow, the white color of his uniform so turns white yeah. or yellow over time. And so I'm like, I can do better. And then I get another one. It's incrementally it's better. Cool. And then I get another one up. Oh, it's a little bit better than that, you know? So um, also the Cobra logo rub, rubs off easy. So um, the that's a, uh, that's a classic figure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The classic, classic old school. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, here we go. This is uh, for all the donuts. Which snake eyes did you pick for number one? <laughs> mm. All three. No. Um, <laughs> the whole episode. No, the, the, all of it. No, mine is the uh, the retro um, snake oh, eyes. The retro classified the snake eyes. Yeah. Retro classified That was a good snake. one. That yeah. was a very. I like that. And it, it, I'm going to tell you, it was a tough one. Right. It was a tough pick. Um, <laughs> because I'm uh, they, they, because they're all good figures, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're all just good figures. Even the first one, where there's not a lot of detail, is just a sleek figure, and and yeah. and and a lot of it ha has to do with, I guess, nostalgia. You know, you being a kid, and that was Snake Eyes was the ultimate prize. Yes, you know? yeah, he was the ultimate prize. He really was, and and that goes a long way into the deciding factor. But that that uh that retro classified man, I yeah. like it. it. Was a little bit sleeker than the classified one. It it wasn't as bulky, all right. Oh, but God. they still modernized right. him like. Right. And it just yeah. was really. He came cool. with the, uh, the yeah. explosives bag and I just some grenades I, you can toss. It's, and... it's it's that that's a sexy figure, man. Is is yeah. is very nice, very sleek. And he yeah. knows it. Yeah, he know. knows it. That's why he's just with the mat. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, here's something that you need to consider: is we still haven't done version two Snake Eyes yet. Ooh. There's a lot more that are closer to version two than uh, than we've looked at. So, um, yeah. So that's that's we still have that to look forward to. Oh, yeah, fun times. Um, so that leaves my my number one. Which one did you pick? Well, I went a different route. Oh, uh, psych! Retro Snake Eyes for the win! Woo! <laughs> oh, we just become best friends. Okay. <laughs> do you want to go to the garage and do karate? There's so much more room for activities. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that Retro Snake Eyes is just just awesome. Uh, and if it wasn't for Walmart's inability to do anything pre-order wise. A lot more people would have that one, but um, it's just the, that retro series until this year, that mm -hmm. retro series was Walmart exclusive. 
Oh wow! And so you're at the mercy of dist- distribution for whatever your if your Walmart gets stuff or not, you know. And mm-hmm. um, and I've I've seen people get their Snake Eyes packaging, but in it is a different figure, like the, I think the Crimson Guard, really? or, which isn't a bad concession prize. Um, concession prize? What's the secondary prize? Uh, I get what. Hey, whatever. It isn't a bad uh, console. Consul- consul- yes. No. That one. Hey, it's it's not a bad one of those prizes, um, but it's not it's not that Commando Retro Snake Eyes yeah. that is just awesome. Um, so yeah, that's it. Those are our five. So to recap, we'll recap here real quick. We've got Steve the Writing Dad's list is the classified rock and roll, the classified Flint, classified mm-hmm. Major Blood, mm-hmm. the classified Retro Destro, mm-hmm. and the. Uh, classified retro snake eyes figure is his number one pick. My top five would be the classified. So the, our first and five were all were both the same. I think that yeah. was fun. Yeah. My number five was a classified rock and roll, followed by the classified snow job, and mm-hmm. the classified scrap iron takes number three. Version one of the classic storm shadow is my number two, and then I also picked classified retro snake eyes because he's a bad mamma jamma mamma jamma all day long yeah. yeah just awesome figures so that's that's the top five out of 10 figures that we looked out of 18 characters mm-hmm. that we looked at um doing what we do where we look at at least two to three character figures per character um so yeah we've got many more to come um let's see this is january 1st so we'll have two more joes yeah coming uh the uh the rest of the year or the rest of this month just to the rest of the year that'll get by now we got two more coming this month and um i'd also like to tease some future programming so um there are vehicles i don't know if you know this Stephen the writing dad gi joe's just not about kick butt figures you don't say no, they got they got vehicles they can ride around in too. Woo! <laughs> so we're gonna do things a little bit different as far as the format of that show. Um, so look for that coming uh, in yeah. the new year. And um, yeah, so thank you for everyone who's joined us in our in our inaugural inaugural in Argyle <laughs> inaugural year. Yeah, um, oh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun doing these. I hope you've learned as much uh, as I have, because I feel like. As I have, because this yeah, guy. As I have, because I know it all, and I hope you know I'm it all. Listening, too. And I'm like this. <laughs> Tell me a story, Agent Chuck. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> no, I, I, I hope you've learned something, as I have. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do, and I hope to keep going. And um, in a new segment that we've recently added to our show, Stephen, the writing dad, is going to give us just the tip. All right. So you've been watching the show. You noticed that I kind of got cold and immediately I had to put something on. So when this thing came out, this is a, like a version of the Snuggie. This thing came out years ago. And when it came out, I made fun of it. Right. It wasn't cool. I was like, nah, that that's ridiculous. Just throw on a sweater. Um, years later, I got this as a gift. I absolutely love it. This is a hoodie, and this is what I wear now. Um, so with that being said, you're going to go through changes. If you're the same person that you were 10 years ago, you're doing something wrong. And the reason why that's so important, because... While you're watching your kids grow up, they're watching you grow up. You're not going to be the same dad to an infant that you are going to be to a 13-year-old. We go through stages. And it's important for us as fathers, as providers, as protectors, as teachers, as disciplinarians, that we continue our growth and we embrace it and we just continue to progress and do better for them. And while we're doing better for them, we improve ourselves in the process. We're necessary. We're necessary for them. So give them the best version of you. 
And that was just a tip from Stephen the Writing Dad. I am Agent Chuckles. Uh, you can find all the stuff I do on social medias and below in particulars in the links below. Oh, I have buttons. Um, links in the description. Hey. <laughs> you can find things I do. I Sometimes I take toy pictures. Uh, yes. When the weather's Very better, cool. I live in Washington State and um, it's winter time and it's not always great to do toy stuff. But uh, I will post them on Instagram and X That's and right. uh, Facebook and all that. And you can find all that down here below. Links in the description. Um, so, Stephen, the writing dad, where can we find your social medias? My social medias, you can find me on YouTube at the writing dad show. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at the one writing dad. And also, why don't you stop by and go to the writing dad.com? All right. And just yeah. say hello. Sign up for the newsletter. Oh, newsletter. Yeah. Breaking news. There's a newsletter. Woo. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here on Plastic Profiles. Thank you very uh, much. If you, if you enjoyed it, please won't you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, like we're, subscribe. We're fun fellows. Like um, and every time I see someone has subscribed, it just, I get a little glow in my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, it's mm -hmm. like I made a new friend. So please be my friend. Come yeah. on, come on board. We'll Let's send me a journey text. together. When it happens. And I, and, and, I through him, I feel the joy. I feel his joy. <laughs> I'm did. like, man, oh, that's so awesome. No, so please. <laughs> so come along with us. Uh, we won't let you down here at Plastic Profiles. Um, and as always, I'm Agent Chuckles. And Steve, the writing dad. And we'll uh, we'll catch you uh, in a couple weeks. Yo, Joe, oh, everybody. God. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>